Tony Daniels, in a telephonic interview with Today on One, stated that Nampol should provide proof on the allegations labelled against him. For, for now, uh, let them bring the proof and then I can take it from there. If there are allegations that I am an Interpol officer or not an Interpol officer, it's for them to prove. But there are also uh, issues that you know agents and agencies around the world working with security won't be revealed by the institutions that they work for. So mm-hmm. for now, I can only say again, those who allege must bring the proof. Because, I mean, it's, there's a face of myself on it and with spectacles on. But who uses something like that on on an ID? So, and the ID, I don't know where would they get an ID like that. So, uh, I mean, that's all I can say. I've already mentioned enough on Facebook and on the profiles to, to state my case. And it's all because there are motors behind it and not really a prima facie case. So if make the allegations, then that's their, you know, that's their issue. The issue is with them. Head of Interpol Division in Namibia, Emmanuel Sam, said that this is not the first time they are dealing with Daniels using a fake Interpol identification card to conduct his services. Um, it is not the first time that we, uh, with, what, that we have intervened in this type of uh, uh, complaint. Uh, we, a few years ago, um, we have met Mr. Uh, Palmer, uh, where he was in possession of an Interpol identification card. And then we have inquired from him, we really wanted to know where he got it, but he could not really explain in detail. Uh, having in possession of such an identity document, by face value, that's not the type of identification issued by Interpol. But we thought it would be wise to follow it up with the authorities in, uh, in Interpol at the headquarters uh, in Lyon, France. And then they have responded that this individual is not appointed by Interpol. Because uh, strategic, uh, in terms of the procedures, no Interpol or no individual is appointed as an agent. There's nothing like that. These are things that are portrayed in, in, in movies. Yeah, it's a country uh, that is designated, and then the Interpol National Central Bureau is the ex- is the is the exclusive point of contact. So basically, we had received also information from members of the public uh, coming into contact with Mr. Anthony Daniels Palmer where he introduced himself as an Interpol agent. So concerned members of the public, then uh, they follow it up with the Interpol office. Is that true that an, in, an individual, uh, this individual is from Interpol? And then of course we then confirm that no, this individual is not from Interpol. According to a press statement Daniels released on Facebook in response to Nampol's warning, He stated that he is a fully qualified cyber criminologist and that he has on no occasion misrepresented himself to anyone, nor did he ever charge fees contrary of the provisions of any law.